Here, we're asked to determine the longest and shortest FM wavelengths and AM wavelengths on those two pieces of the radio band. This particular radio, this graphic was taken from, also has uh, shortwave capabilities, but that's not super common for most people to have. Uh, so we'll just limit it to AM and FM. And all of these are going to be calculated off a relationship we introduced several lectures ago, namely that wave speed equals wavelength times frequency. If you have that, you can divide both sides by wavelength and find that frequency equals wave speed divided by wavelength or what we're going to need wavelength is wave speed divided by frequency so you can rearrange that three factor relationship uh, three different ways to find wave speed, wave frequency, or wavelength. We're going to use the latter one there. So let's just start with uh, I, so longest and shortest FM wavelengths. Well, FM, if we take this dial, uh, frequencies go from 88, but notice over here kind of hidden in the graphic are megahertz, so that's millions of hertz, up to 108 millions of hertz. So here is the lowest frequency. The lowest frequency is actually going to be the longest wavelength up here. The highest frequency is going to be the shortest wavelength. So longest FM wavelength would be wave speed. So that's the speed of light I'm using. 300,000 meters per second, and I'm going to divide by that um, frequency, which is 88 million hertz, which is a uh, cycle per second. And the se per seconds cancel. Cycle is not really a unit. It's a placeholder to remind myself what I'm counting. We're left with just units of meters, but notice that you know this cancels, and you're really just doing 300 divided by 88. So pull in the calculator, 300 divided by 88 gives me about 3.4 meters. Okay, shortest FM. Same kind of idea, 300 million meters per second. Uh, now we're at 108,000 cycles per second. And that works out to be 300 divided by 108. Uh, about 2.8 meters. So average FM wavelength is in the ballpark of about 3 meters. What if we do the same calculation for longest AM? Well, exact same steps here. So again, my 300 million meters per second for the speed, but now uh, the AM bands go from about 530 up to 1710. These are kilohertz. These are thousands of cycles per second. So if I plug in 530,000 cycles per second, I can cancel, but now I'm doing 300,000 divided by 530. And I get out of that 566 meters. 
the shortest AM wavelength would then be same speed, 300,000 meters per second. Let's divide that by 1710 kilohertz is 1,710,000 cycles per second. So I can get rid of some stuff in here, but that's still uh, 300,000 divided by 1,710. And that works out to be 175 meters. So quite a difference between AM and FM. And uh, that is in part uh, related to the reason that um, AM and FM sort of have different transmission properties. AM generally can transmit over longer distances uh, than FM can. Um, and yeah, they have about a couple orders of magnitude in the difference of the wavelengths of those particular types of radio waves.